Okay. Um, I am going to, I have burned two images on two different SD cards. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> load one into my Pi to make sure that my process was right. Then I'm going to go through the, sort of like the setup of when you first boot it up. Besides that, I want to make sure it's the right image before I go sending it off. So just give me a minute here. Okay, well. I hate these cages. Because that's what they do. I need to hot glue that thing together. front here okay I'm gonna go in and back in the back and plug the pie in check out the first boot up here So when this first boots up, it should, since it's there's nothing programmed on this as far as input controls, uh, it should prompt you to set up your controller. Okay, now this is um, gamepad detected, hold a button on your device, so D-pad up, up, down, left, right, start, select. Now you can go back in and change these, so I'm just going to be A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, I guess. Now, I'm out of buttons, so basically I'm going to take a button that I've already programmed. I'm just going to hold it till it skips down. Hold it. Just continue to hold it for each command. Now when you get to hotkey enable, um, I'm going to reuse select. What that does is when I'm in mid game or I start a game and I don't want to play it, if I then push my start and select at the same time, it'll exit me out of the game that I'm in. And then, okay. Okay, there's the image now. Uh, basically, no. Oh. So if you, yeah, okay, X takes you to random, 
and why you can hold it if you hold your Y button it adds it to your favorites and or removes it from your favorites so um, yeah I'll try a Street Fighter here so that's kind of where we ended up at I'm not going to say every game works flawlessly on here. But most of the ones I've played do. There are some that don't. If I remember right. Um, there's something that we have to do to get the sound working. Because I'm using the 3.5mm jack. So, once again, start and select together. Will exit me out. That's the importance of hotkey. I guess the sound is working. Kind of, this Raspberry Pi kind of has a buzz, but I'm not quite sure why. Why it's doing that. My other one don't. <laughs> ha, also plugged in all the way. That would be why. Yeah. Still sort of has a buzz, but... I think that's my pie itself. It sounds real dim on this for some reason. I'll check another game. Something I know what it should sound like. Okay, so hit the start button, go to sound settings. You're gonna have to bear with me because Your select button is also your coin button. Yeah. Probably not the best with the controller, bro. Let me go through and figure out this sound. And then I'll come back on and show exactly what's got to be done. For at least my setup anyways. Okay. So, I think I got it going. Let's see here. Let's test it out. And if, if uh, it's working, I'll show what I kind of did here.
Okay, it's working. using my sound out of the 3.5 millimeter jack in the Raspberry Pi to some AV jacks and to a small stereo hooked to my speakers on auxiliary so that's how I run my speakers on this cabinet um, I suppose if I unplugged that 3.5 millimeter jack. Well, I'll show you this here. Um, let me get this so you can see the whole screen here. Okay, so back to this main menu here. You go to config, audio, you come in here. It's gonna, it's gonna take you in, into something like this. Auto. I, uh, I just selected the 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay. Um, as far as in here, when with the start button here, I went to sound settings, audio device, PCM, and this OMX player audio device is on both. Um, yeah. So I suppose if you want the sound coming out the HDMI, you would just have to select HDMI in that one screen, which would be audio. And then, um, select HDMI okay uh, you can also go to where is it there's audio if you go to this uh, mixer adjust output volume you're gonna need a keyboard because you have to use escape to exit out of here. So in some of these screens, you will need a computer or a, you know, a keyboard if you get into them. Um, just right there, I guess. So I'll hit escape on my keyboard and back out. So that's pretty much how you set up the sound, I guess. You gotta go into the audio and switch 3.5 millimeter jack or HDMI. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, so. That's uh, your guy right there. It's a 64 gig card. This card is like almost packed to the max with this image. Like there's not much room left at all. Um, we'll go back. Oh, another thing about these, if um, 
go back. It does uh, have your last plates, favorites. Uh, there's there's already some in here from when the image was built. So what I do is just go in here and uh, hit the appropriate button and just uh, delete them out of here. See how this does. Your select button is coin. Select back out to the main thing here. Um, so I'm going to hit the start button and I am going to Game collection settings. Um, you can go in here and uh, uh, shut these off so you have less options on your screen. And what this does is kind of separate your games into groups by Midway, Namco, Nintendo, things like that. You can add collection groups if you want. It's really not important stuff to me, I guess. Um, there's there's something else I was. You can. Um, turn off the screensaver. When, when this sits for so long, it'll just start randomly playing video of other games and stuff like that. But the cool one on here is theme set. Uh, there's many themes on here. Uh, I guess. Uh, Retro-rama, let's for say. go to back and then um, basically changes your uh, uh, format or the way your um, front end of your Raspberry Pi looks like so this would be the arcade game section you enter that and then you see the the, the layout screens are different with different artwork and stuff like that. So to play around with that, you basically hit start. Uh, what was it under? Other settings? No. The UI settings. You go down to theme set and you can select through. It's set on SNES Mini when you get it. Yeah, just exit out of there. 
it, get, it kind of freezes for a second why it's doing its changing and then that's how you change the uh, I don't know what to call it the skin or whatever so I mean I guess you'll figure it out if if I was to say anything I think when you get this image if you wanted to um, maybe put it in your computer or find a hard drive that you can hook to your computer and um, I forget how you you write an image to a disk well you'd have to do it like I do it I guess if you wanted a video on that I could but you could put this store this image before you open it up and change settings around that way so if something ever happens to it you can uh, always reburn a fresh copy but if you needed to send me it back and I can uh, re rewrite that SD card you know Alright man, well, this video is probably long enough and uh, hopefully this gives you an idea of how the uh, image works there. Alright. Nice. Oh, if anyone else watches this, made it to the end, subscribe. Much appreciated. Nice.